With that, uh, let me uh, get started with the conceptual questions. I guess it's due tomorrow, so yeah, some people should have answered it. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, do the thing that I've been doing the whole semester, just uh, asking these questions to generative AI and see how well it does. And so far, it's go done decently. And um, as I say every session, if this is a tool that's uh, helping you learn physics, great. I have no objection to that at the fundamental level. Um, this is sim uh, just to make sure this is not some sort of uh, 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 a corner cutting tool. It's not a, uh, something that uh, that you use to avoid the work. Like that is not okay. But uh, if um, it's a way for you to interact with the material and ask questions about it in a way where you can get an immediate uh, answer back, then sure, why not? Uh, just be aware, um, sometimes it's not right, it hallucinates, it gives the wrong answers very confidently. Uh, that's really one of the reasons I'm doing this, so that, you know, I can make a fun of it when it's wrong. <laughs> or at least check if it tends to answer these types of questions correctly. Um, so, let's see, both electric fields, yeah, compare and contrast, it'll probably do it okay. It tends to do okay with uh, these types of questions. They can exert a force, commonality, and difference. Okay, commonality. There are components of a sure. I don't know if uh, uh, this uh, answer seems a little circular. Um, all right, fine. Because um, you define something called the electromagnetic force, and then you are saying, oh, it, they are both a part of it. Yeah, you just uh, put this word together. <laughs> the direction and magnitude of uh, uh, depend on the charge of the particle. Okay, I guess so. Um, there's a Q factor in both the uh, uh, formulas for force differences, electric force created by A and electron similar charges. While oh, let me mute the chime thing. Um, um, stationary moving charges while magnetic force are created by A and electron only moving charges. Yeah, I guess that's right. Uh, magnetic uh, forces, so uh, fields are also created by moving charges, moving electric charges. Uh, uh, that's actually the uh, topic of, oh, sorry, next to it, next to it, not this way. Uh, the electric force on a particle is proportional to its charge and is either parallel or anti-parallel, which my proportional to both charge and, vo and velocity, right, uh, to speed, and is per perpendicular to velocity and magnetic field, yeah. This follows from the, the formula for magnetic force, charge times V as a vector, cross product of the B, uh, magnetic field vector. So, yeah, summary of these, similarities, yeah, they differ. Yeah, I think the main thing I wanted you to, uh, wanted you to get to is that um, the stationary versus moving. Um, so, yeah, overall good answer. Um, I might have a little issue with that. But whenever I tell you to, you know, bring up some number of points, oftentimes that number is a little bit higher than ideal because um, I, I want you to just think a little harder and make sure to bring up some of the key points, which I think... Uh, this point and um, these points address. So, so it's fine. Um, uh, it, it, like uh, missing one or two points that is okay. Answer these questions. Uh, yeah, I think it's all copied correctly. Let me ask it and see. Um, is it possible for magnetic force on a turn? No, no. Yes. Is it possible moving in a non-electric field? No. Uh, what is this when I first electric? Not, uh, this uh, is referring to what's called the cross the field arrangement. Some of your homework, uh, yeah, specific arrangement, cross field. Uh, let's see if we got it. Yeah, yes, because um, yeah, the magnitude of the force coming from Q, V cross B is this. The cross product gives you sine theta in the magnitude, so um, depending on what this theta is, um, yeah. So either velocity is parallel to the magnetic field or anti-parallel, then you'll get zero force. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes. N no. Uh, did I misread the question? Um, is it possible for electric force on a charge moving in a non-direct? No, it's not possible. What do I mean? It's possible. Um, Q times E, where if uh, Q is the charge. 
uh, is electric field. Well, if the charge is zero, then it's not an electric charge. That's a weird way to interpret it. If I had asked, you know, if, if it is possible for electric force on a particle to be zero, then sure. If it's not charged, then but Q cannot be zero. So, um, I mean, I get what it is. It, this is logically consistent, but it's a... Uh, um, just from semantic sense, it's an absurd interpretation. Q cannot be zero. If Q is zero, then you don't have an electric charge. So, so even if the charge is non-zero, yeah, that is not possible. So, or if uh, electric field from different uh, sources, they balance out, then what you would have contradicted is the uh, moving in a non-zero electric field. So at that point, if your net electric field is zero, then your electric field is zero. It's not a non-zero electric field. So I, I feel like uh, uh, I, I see from the interpretation, uh, from the explanation, uh, the re reasoning process. But um, so it, it's uh, it's not completely wrong on the uh, basis. Of the reasons it gave is not wrong per se. It's just not consistent with the, what the question is asking. <laughs> I would probably give this credit though. Uh, okay, see, for the net force to be zero, uh, the electric field must be equal and opposite. Sure, I just hate that phrase, equal and opposite. Uh, until by uh, electric force is equal to the magnetic force, right? Then velocity. Um, uh, but it didn't mention the setup. Um, so for C. Uh, can the orientation uh, relative if orientation of the electric and magnetic field be anything or should they be oriented in a particular way? I wanted to bring up cross the field arrangement. Um, skip. I hope it retained the context, uh, but it retained the wrong context, the electromagnetic waves, that's not it. Yeah, I think it's uh, getting confused. Um, you know, electromagnetic, yeah, that's the right expression. Um, velocity selector, okay, I think I can work with that. Um, so let me ask you this question. Uh, in a velocity selector, what is the relative orientation between the electric field and the magnetic field? Yeah, I'm not asking about waves right now. In a velocity selector, uh, the relative is such that they're yeah perpendicular to each other. <laughs> uh, that that uh, um, um, so I wonder if we do get to the name cross the fields. Is there a name for a setup where the electric and magnetic fields are set up uh, perpendicular to each other, like in a velocity selector? There's a name for it. I don't know if it'll give the name. Um, then there's no specific term. What do you mean? Um, uh, in the context of perpendicular arrangement of uh, particles are passed through the perpendicular field. Um, I'm pretty sure I. Don't think it, 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 this is a term I'm making. Uh, what is a uh, cross uh, the field uh, setup? I mean, um, I mean, I I can get that. Um, it might not be universally used, but it's uh, used uh, widely enough. Yeah, exactly. So it's. Uh, I don't know. Based on the number of follow-up questions I had to ask to get it to answer C properly, I want to say it partially got it wrong. Um, I mean, all the details it's giving is correct. It's just that it's not getting to that quickly enough. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, I think uh, so. B it wasn't quite 
giving the wrong uh, correct answer it was justifying it um okay um but uh, answer was giving was not based on the correct interpretation of question and for c um um, it, it took way too many follow-up questions for it to get to the right setup. Uh, let's ask the next question. Considering the magnetic force law, oh, yeah. yeah. The, it should appeal to the property of cross product. Yeah, the lost the magnetic field are not always. Force and uh, yeah, that is due to Lorentz equation. Then um, the yeah cross product uh, ensures that the force is always perpendicular. But V and B, the two things you are multiplying together, they don't have to be any in any relationship with each other. Uh, oh wait, they it got it wrong. Magnetic force and magnetic field are always perpendicular because um, the force is what you get from the cross product. So the force is perpendicular to V and it is perpendicular to B. Um, velocity, yeah, the magnetic field. No, it can't have a component of parallel to the magnetic field. Uh, yeah, so I in this case, um, there's a component of velocity that's uh, parallel to the magnetic field, but... Um, yeah, so... <laughs> um, so let me ask you the follow-up question. Uh, it sounds contradictory to me. If uh, um, if the cross product ensures, how can there uh, miss the comma? How can there ever be a uh, um, component parallel to magnetic field. The spiral is happening through the component of the velocity that's parallel to the magnetic field, not the uh, component of force. Uh, uh, component uh, be a be a component of the magnetic force. Yes. Magnetic to parallel current carrying conductor. Nah. Moving charge down here. Yeah, yeah. In the second case, to parallel current carrying conductors, how is it different? Uh, due to current carries. Yes, uh, but it's still perpendicular to the direction of current. Uh, no, this is just, you know, draw the picture. Uh, like, you know, you are a human being. <laughs> you can draw pictures that GPT, chat GPT can't draw. Like, this is nonsense. Okay, so it's getting it wrong. Um, it's not, I kind of did suspect that GPT would not do so well with the geometry um, involved questions because it's a large language model. It's not trained on geometric reasoning. So I'll just give up here. Um, it's just getting all mixed up. It doesn't, um, it, like, you know, it doesn't understand um, uh, when it says, you know, when it says a sentence like this, um, uh, let's see, when it says sentence like the cross product in this equation in series, it's just the spitting out some trained text. It doesn't actually understand what it means. So it can't do logical deductions. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Just to be mindful when you are asking a geometry question of ChatGPT that there's a higher chance that it will be wrong. It's, it's not in its uh, main domain where, like, you know, if you wanted to produce a well polished text, that's what it's best at. Provide key parameters, help potential in good and poor conductors. Um, 
guess I will say conductivity. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, I think uh, there's a number of charge carriers. That's the main thing. Um, effect occurs. Yeah, so there's the whole voltage formula that lowercase n is charge carrier density. Yeah. Um, per conduct lower charge carrier density. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Good. This is good answer. Um, yeah, I don't know why I ever marked this a challenge question. It might have been because um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, maybe we, I saw people struggling with the question. I can't quite remember. Um, but okay, so that's the fourth and the last question that you know GPT answered well enough. Question three. Um, so I guess uh, whenever you are asking GPT uh, geometry questions, as you are reading it, try to make sense of it. You know, draw the picture. And when it says nonsense like this um, in the you know, H Y generates. Um, the direction of the force is along the line joining the two wires. You know, two wires, line joining the two wires, it's perpendicular, not parallel. When it says it, which is parallel to the direction of current and the magnetic field. No, that's a nonsense. <laughs> uh, draw the picture and figure out that it's a spinning nonsense. Oh. Alright, so that's the conceptual question. Um, let me know of any questions. Again, um, if you are using generative AI as a way to interact with the material and help you think through and, you know, try to spot when uh, GPT is getting it wrong, then great. Whatever is helping you learn physics is good, um, but um, don't use it to generate answers that you might submit. One, um, you know, there's a whole ethical use of AI tools. You should be properly citing it.